everybody and welcome back so today is the have and the have nots season five episode two searching for a mother's love so we seen on the last episode <laughs> melissa was laughing at veronica trapped up in this car talking about, i'm gonna watch you burn itch and why you scared of those flames you're the devil so, anyway, Mitch and Benny rolled up on, on the accident or whatnot and what have you. And Benny trying to get Veronica out of the car. Now, um, he done say, Veronica, she don't want to go to the hospital without Benny. Come out, I don't have nobody. Well, you shouldn't have ran everybody off and had your son arrested. If you weren't such an evil wench, then you'd have had somebody to be there for you. But Benny more, more worried about Melissa and how she doing. He wasn't even wanting to leave her, and he wasn't even studying Veronica. But I'm going to tell you, that's who would make a cute couple right there would be Benny and Melissa. But anyway, he has to get, uh, we're going to move on to Jim. Jim had to go over there. You know, he was over there cock blocking, had to go get David Carr to get a room. And then he had to have David call the hotel and, and reserve the room so then he could go check in. But then when he got there, they still wanted to. To verify the ID and they needed more confirmation and whatnot. Jim done got up so upset. He talking about he gonna burn the hotel down. Why don't he go down to the budget inn? He ain't got to stay at the ten star hotel with everybody else. He ain't about that life no more. He been demoted from everything. Catherine is the one with the wallet. So anyway. Now that he he barely can't get a room in David's name, and then when he do get it, he better sit down somewhere and shut up. And Catherine won't even let, let him get one and nothing. Anyway, so the, all of that that's going on, Oscar's gonna show it up to let Jim know he'll have he'll he'll have wide money stolen back for him soon. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something. When y'all already know when Jim still uh wide <laughs> money back jim gonna have to use it because he broke now and then why gonna have him arrested we already know this if he get his hands on the money but this what i'm this is my thing oscar gonna figure out that jim can't pay him when he found out jim ain't got no money and when oscar do steal that money back he gonna keep that doggone money watch what i tell you but anyway thanks to queen Mac queen of maxwell with her thief instead of trying to use wallet card now, um, Oscar gonna be able to get the money. She just set her old skinny butt down. Um, she would he wouldn't be able to get it. But anyway, as expected, why I gonna act the fool? Cause Anna gone. He done fired the post little therapy man. <laughs> I already told him to get out. So now he gonna be either trying to fall off the wagon or go find Anna. I'm personally, I was personally hoping that she was gonna quit. Working with, working with him or however so she could date him or however, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. The guy at the hotel desk turned out to be he a shyster. They running a porn ring uh, somewhat kind of way in this expensive, classy hotel. That's a hot-ass mess, but anyway, he hate Jim. I guess Jim probably done, you know, he a judge, but anyway, he always rude everywhere he go. So he probably been rude to him one too many doggone times. But now he finna try to get with Miss with Catherine just to spite Jim. It won't be hard because Catherine just looking for her little piece of meat anyway. But anyway, so the maintenance man, Derek, turned out to be the guy who built the house. He um Hannah, here she go. Talking to him about the house and what have you. He let her know, you know, he built the house. And she asked the question and asked him finally. She found out he got a cheaper house. When can she sit down and be humble? Why is she destined to be over there in the hood? The little boy already did. You done lost your grandson. You done had, you over there on the bad side of town. Why can't you just appreciate what you got? Say thank you. And if you get like, like. Catherine said, if you got an issue with her giving you the house, go work for this lady and pay off the house uh, and or whatever. I, people got it so hard. I'm the type of person, too, I don't want everything gay to me, but you got a house. Go work for the lady to make a house payment. And that's how you can pay it off. You and Benny both, he can be the butler 
and your ass can be the maid. Go on over there. Get the work. That's all you got to do. It don't matter what kind of history y'all got with the family. You ain't got nothing. I, like I said last episode, y'all ain't got nothing else going on. But anyway, during this time, the more call. Lil' Q had left some stuff in his pocket. So she gets over there to get the stuff. He had some little, the little action figure, little army men, things in there. And he had a letter in there. And I was trying to lead, read the letter. It's like a prayer. I see something about please help my mommy and some other stuff in there. In this little pocket. With the action figures or whatever. So I guess next Hannah got to go carry the letter over there to Candace and get some stuff popped off with her. And, you know, Hannah, she go there and be talking about, can't you see, girl? Can't you see, demon? That this all this little boy want. He lost his life. And he he I, and he was praying for you. He was praying. Stay the hell away from Candace. Y'all just stay away from each other. Because it's been established since day one. You don't like your daughter. And your daughter don't like you. And then after some of the stuff Hannah done done, I don't... It's just the whole one-sided situation to me, you know. I don't approve of everything she done done. But anyway, Erica done went to the store, come back with these two, three little sacks with some drawers in it, probably a bra and one or two outfits. Heffa, he said, go get you a whole wardrobe. You ain't got maybe enough stuff for a day. Talking about you only spent $400. I hope each sack had a week, a week of outfits in there because Heffa, you ain't got no clothes. Uh, no shoes, and you ain't gonna walk around them same pair of heels, girl. You needed some slippers and whatnot. And then, David, why is you trying to put that head that bed together if you don't call Ashley Furniture Home Store and have them to come out there and go on and furnish that doggone house in that big old echoey house? Y'all ain't gonna have nothing but a bed, no table, and, and no dishes. <laughs> Man, bye. But I will tell y'all something, David, know he was hanging them jeans, okay. But anyway, Candy um need to be interested in that um senator. She I wish she would talk to him and get back with him. But anyway, Oscar keep running over there. He done paid her little her little hotel room up for the month because he really want her to try to do this senator as a mark. But Candy ain't studying none of that. She want wide as a mark. $12 million. Let, yeah, and wide would be an easy mark for her. Let them come wide out this money. Wide can't stand Candy anyway. He ain't going to sleep with her. But I'm sure Candy got some kind of other way they can come him out of the money. But Candy know enough about him to help Oscar get the money. That would be his best bet. But it would be two food with Candace. So he need to go on and do that. But anyway... Justin keep bringing Jeffrey up off in this this uh interrogation room. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think it's going to be a camera running each and every time while he's sliding his butt off this table in the Jeffrey lap. I don't know about y'all, but this is just too much for me. They too manly. Too manly gay men is too much for me. I can't handle it. It's just it's too much. But I am so tired of seeing people try to rape Jeffrey. I want to see him with somebody that's more loving, lovingly, that's more willingly. And people stop forcing themselves on him. Melissa forces herself on him. Brandon forces herself on him. Now Justin forces himself on him. I just feel like people sitting around and rape Jeffrey every day. Leave Jeffrey alone and stop forcing Jeffrey yourself on him. And leave him alone. And and what when is Justin gonna take a hint? Every time he's trying to come on you, he's telling you go go call your wife. I don't know how he's gonna get away from me. He's talking about, but you're my man. I they gonna get caught. That's what's gonna happen. But anyway, I feel like Landon about to get a senator down there, get him full of little toasted drinks, and he's gonna try to hit on him. What y'all think? I don't know. I don't want the, the senator to be going both ways. The only way I want the senator to go is down to the phone and call Candace and move Candace down to wherever he is and they be together. But anyway, <clears throat> Candace still threatening Erica. I think Erica going to eventually say something. She messed around and tell David Candace threatening her. David going to have Candace killed so quick. And if Erica knew that, she would probably already be done told it. But I believe before this season over, she going to tell it. Because it's getting old. Candace look like she got some nerve calling and threatening somebody. 
even though she right to be mad at Erica, then she gonna tell Erica she wanted was it a hundred and fifty thousand dollars? But all she gotta do is ask David, excuse me, for the money. He probably won't even question her for the money. He'll probably just be like, whatever you want, as long as you live in this house with me and sleep in this bed with me, I'll give you whatever you want. But she gonna get the money and more than likely she gonna get it from David. But anyway, that's all my review of this show. I'm trying to make my reviews shorter because I don't like to just do a whole... I don't really like to do a whole review. I would rather do like a recap. Do the parts of the show that I like. Because the whole purpose of me doing this is because my tweets was too long. So whatever I would tweet, I'm just going to put it in a video, you know. But anyway, I thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for the next review. Next haul, whatever I'm dropping, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. The subscribe button is the most important. And I'll see y'all in the next review.